Hey guys, forgive the potato face dragonborn, she's just here to help me demonstrate the mod today. I'm sure a lot of you think this is clickbait, so I'm just going to give you a quick little demo before we start. Is Alduin really dead? I didn't absorb his soul when he died. Perhaps. May I receive the blessing of Akatosh? Wind, guide you. Who was Jurgen Windcaller? He was a great war leader of the... Yeah, ain't no clickbait here, friends. Stay tuned, this is an interesting video. Uh, it's broken up into chapters, as always, so feel free to jump around. But first, on the subject of... Um... Talking... I rebooted my Discord server, and no one watched the last video, so I'm doing the plug again. Look, it's so great that Constellation has been putting up ads for it in their meeting place. It's a mod-focused server where you can come and talk to me about mods, but also just whatever else. I've even got a mod spotlight channel, so you can just come and see a giant list of mods that I think are cool if you want. And I can start posting to it a lot more once there's an actual demand for it. There's about 75 or so in there right now. So, link in the pinned comment below, as well as the description. Sorry guys, my plan was to get this out on Saturday at the latest, but uh, partway into editing I decided the video wasn't good enough and I wanted to redo the entire thing, so here we are. Uh, today we're going to look at something a bit more exciting than the last episode, because apparently that, that wasn't very exciting to people. Um, we're back at Skyrim, we'll mostly be here until uh, Starfield Creation Kit comes out, which I, I have a whole other video planned as sort of an update to my Starfield video where I want to go over some stuff that's happened since then, and uh, also talk about some of the stuff I've heard in the comments of that video. The main thing is that uh, Creation Engine, or Creation Kit 2, is not going to be coming out till quote, early 2024, which is a bit of an issue for me, so who knows if I'll actually get around to that, but it is something I'm planning to do right now. But today, we're going to be looking at Dragonborn VoiceOver, or DBVO for short. It's one of the coolest mods ever made. Now, I actually made a video about this back in April, but back then the mod was a work in progress, and it had a number of issues, um... And I spent a lot of that video talking about them, but then the morning the video was supposed to go up, the mod got its 1.0 update, and it fixed basically all the issues that I'd spent most of the video talking about, and it kind of invalidated the entire thing, so it never got uploaded. Um, I've also got two other mods to go with it that we'll talk about during the demo, and uh, you saw both of them in action at the beginning. It was the dialogue idols, as well as the, uh, the, the fancy cinematic camera. A uh, link to both of them will be in the description, but we'll talk about them more during the demo. Alright, now that we've got the introductions and the self-shilling out of the way, as you saw at the beginning of the video, this mod allows your character to speak their voice lines complete with lip-sync support. It accomplishes this via Eleven Labs AI voice synthesis. Ooh, I know, I know, I said the scary tech buzzword. Now, I know the discourse around AI-generated content can be a little... tense. But, in this instance, it's really the only practical solution. Remember, there are over 7,000 lines of player dialogue in vanilla Skyrim alone, before you even start talking about the mods that have player dialogue. Now, there are follower and NPC mods out there with more, and in some cases several times more, than 7,000 lines of dialogue that do use human voice actors. This is totally true, but they are certainly few and far between, and again, that's just for the base game, we're not even talking about support for enormous mods like Beyond Skyrim, Interesting NPCs, Inigo, Serana Dialogue add-on, those, those big ones that everyone, that everyone mostly uses. Once you factor in any significant amount of mod content, AI voice synthesis becomes really the only practical way to make these voice packs on a meaningful scale. And with how niche of a genre of mod it is right now, I can't imagine there's that many human voice actors clamoring to make enormous voice packs so they can point and say that they may occasionally voice some random person's Skyrim character. Perhaps in the future, but this is how we get it off the ground at the very least. Because as far as I'm aware, there's nothing actually stopping you from using lines recorded by a human voice, it's just the scale of what needs to be done. Now, I was actually going to download a Geralt preset along with his armor and then go walking around in Skyrim using his DBVO voice pack in what probably would have been the closest any of you will get to seeing me play Witcher 3, but in the interest of not setting off too many ethical debates in the comments, we will instead be using the Bella voice pack, which has by far the largest degree of third-party mod support, and it also uh, uses one of Eleven Labs' default voice models, which is, not to my knowledge, based off of any specific human performance. Um, it was the voice that you heard at the beginning of the video. Now, one thing to keep an eye out for if you decide to start messing with these. This mod was adopted quite quickly, and there are a number of voice packs that are not designed 
for the current version of DBVO. They were made for the work in progress version and were ultimately never updated. And those old versions will no longer function with the full version of the mod because the full version works a bit differently. Um, so make sure to check the last updated date on the mod page or the mod files. And if it's newer than about April 20th, 2023, you should be good to go. Now, as you heard at the beginning, the voices sound really, really good. Uh, it's not like what you'd be used to if your experience with AI voice synthesis is limited to the likes of AI Sponge. Flashbacks of the war. Mrs. Uh, your good friend is dead. Cries in flashbacks of the war. Sometimes the tone of the voice won't really match the context of what's being said, because the AI doesn't have that context. It just had a giant list of lines to read out. So, for example, a conversation may have your characters calmly ask, what do you want with me? But the AI may say it like, what do you want with me? Like, uh, because it just doesn't know what it's responding to, so it just has to guess the tone that it's supposed to be using. But that aside, that would also be true with a human voice actor if they didn't have the context. And um, I, I have heard human voice actors give worse performances, myself included, back when I took acting classes in high school. Pronunciation is also probably a concern to people, and much to my surprise, it's excellent. I've only heard a handful of mispronunciations. It is shockingly good, uh, especially considering the range and variety of words in Elder Scrolls. Like, you've got Nachardak, Sovngarde, Parthenax, Shiagorath, and I've heard all of those pronounced correctly. Uh, the only one that I can think of that I heard in the base game that was pronounced wrong was I heard one, not all of them, but one of the voice packs pronounced Boethia as Boethia, which is which is not right. But um, even words where there could reasonably be more than one pronunciation, nine times out of ten, it picks the correct one. Alright, we're going to do a bit of a longer demo now. Now, I'm going to explain how this is going to work. So I am going to cut out most of what the NBC says, because that's not the point. We're talking about the player character dialogue. Um, this is just a random NPC from interesting NPCs. I just kind of picked it at random and ran over there. So, um... That's what you're going to be seeing. Uh, there are two mods that are going to be working together with DBVO here that I want to highlight. One is Malignous Dialogue Idols, uh, which is by JV Raven. Again, both of these will be linked in the description. Uh, this person is a relatively new arrival on the animation scene. They've only been at it for about a month, but they've been killing it. So uh, pay attention to the, the way the character moves when she is speaking. And then the other one to point out is uh, Improved Alternate Dialogue Camera, which is why it looks so cinematic, and it's actually a new addition. Uh, it looks so much better than um, than the default camera that it's actually one of the reasons I decided to re-record the entire thing, so... Um, yep, enjoy! You seem rather harmless for a madman of the Reach. Hey, I resent that. In that case, you owe it to your people to develop it. I've met Invar. She doesn't suffer foolishness. Aye, she doesn't. Your old gods interest me. Tell me about them. I'm afraid I just get it all wrong. Why live at this lookout? You don't like it? Whatever she says. Opinions are like the weather, and nothing we say can ever change them. You don't care for politics? Aren't you trying to liberate the Reach? I don't know. I guess I am. Oh, there's lots of harm. Bad things happen when good people do nothing. Come on, I know I'm a huge nerd, but just seeing your Skyrim character, who in the base game is an emotionless brick, gesture and speak their lines, I can't be the only person who thinks this is like the coolest thing ever, right? One other thing to keep in mind is that while there are already a lot of voice packs, there aren't as many as there could be on account of the fact that Eleven Labs usage, uh, at least on the scales needed to you know, voice over the Dragonborn across all of Skyrim, is currently not free. Uh, obviously, as the technology improves, this will likely get better, but right now there is a somewhat significant monetary cost associated with producing these patches, unless you want to start dealing in alternate accounts to take repeated advantage of the free tier or something. Uh, but either way, this mod is currently in a weird field where we're technologically limited, but in this case, it actually has nothing to do with the engine, even in Skyrim. It's just because AI voice models are really expensive to run right now. Uh, but this will likely not be the case in a few years from now, so this will only get better. And on the note of producing these voice packs, another question I'm sure you have is, how hard is it? 
Now, because of the monetary costs and the frequency with which I switch out mods, I have not personally made my own voice pack yet, because I'd want to cover my entire game and that would be expensive. But uh, I know it's fast and easy enough for the author of the Bella voice pack to have at one point been uploading like literally more than five patches a day. Really, the speed at which these can be produced is pretty astounding. So now we'll we'll ask one more question for this video, uh, and, and I know I'm sure it's in a lot of the back of your heads. Could this be done with Starfield once the tools are available? Well, I'm certainly not the mastermind here, and I can't attest to what Mr. Kobe220 thinks, but I don't see why not. Uh, the only thing is that Starfield does the old Oblivion-style dialogue cameras where it zooms into the NPC you're talking to space and nowhere else. So that would either need to be unlocked or reworked to include your character's face when they speak their parts, ideally. I mean, I guess it wouldn't have to, but I just feel like it'd be kind of weird to just hear your character talking off screen all the time. But anyways, I hope you guys found this as, as cool and interesting as I did. Uh, obviously, links to all these will be in the description, uh, as well as the voice pack that I used. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, maybe click subscribe or like it or comment say sarcastic dragon. Stop doing the same Discord plug. And I will once once some people actually join. So if you want to stop that, you know what you gotta do. Now, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.